Hi guys, I'm back with a very different fun outfit slash fashion video. So I had a company reach out to me and they sent me a few pieces They're from Amazon. I'll put all the links to everything down below. But what I want you to get from this video, the challenge I did for myself and something I'd like to pass along to you is that you can shop your closet. So every season you don't need to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe all different pieces, all different shoes. As tempting as that is, number one, who can afford it? Especially right now with inflation, if you can, God bless you, give me your secrets. But honestly, who really wants to, right? That's such a waste. I love to challenge myself and to make new outfits with a couple of staple pieces and you could wear it five or six different ways. You could wear the same skirt five or six different ways. You could wear different color blazers, different kinds of shoes. One of the pieces they sent me was a uh, plaid skirt that kind of has fall vibes. It's got a thicker material. What's so cool about it, I'll show you guys in the video, but there's also built-in shorts underneath it, which I love because number one, chub rub. If you hold your weight in your legs, it's a real thing, especially if you live in the heat where you sweat all the time. But also number two, I have a toddler. I'm bending down. I'm standing up. I still want to wear a skirt, but I want to feel like I'm covered underneath and not showing everybody everything all the time. So the fact that I don't have to find a girdle, do people call them that anymore? Shapewear, skims type of stuff, or a pair of biker shorts that I'd rather wear to work out and not dirty them. You guys know. I'm going off on a tangent, but I loved that. But also I follow this fashion girl who lives in the heat of Texas. So it's over hundred degrees there in the summer, but she makes her wool skirts into summer pieces and they are so appropriate for the season, just with a different shirt, with different shoes, with different accessories. And you're always in the AC anyway. And for me personally, I freeze in the summer indoors. I thought that was a really cool idea. And I brought that into this video. What I want you to take away the most from this, as I show you these pieces, is that even if you don't want these specific pieces, which some of them are really adorable and I say grab them because they're very affordable. Again, they'll all be linked in the description box below. But takeaway is find a couple of staple pieces that you really love either already in your closet or something new that you just want to freshen up your closet and then shop your closet and you can go casual, dressy, work appropriate, evening appropriate, all with this one staple piece or these couple of staple pieces with your shirt, your bottoms if it's a shirt with your shoes with your accessories your hair your makeup you guys know so let's go through this first piece of clothing it's a set that i got it was actually pajamas so this is kind of difficult to do with this but at the same time pajamas as outerwear has kind of become very trendy in the last couple of years like a silk set that has a pajama vibe to it so if you want to recreate that look and you're confident with your choices listen there are no rules in fashion anymore and i love that because when i was young like my parents generation you couldn't wear white after labor day you couldn't wear certain fabrics certain times of the year those all went out the window and i love it because to me fashion is such a form of creative self-expression and even if you're not a creative person you could still express your innermost thoughts and feelings through your clothing and what you wear and how you choose to present yourself to the world so if you think that pajamas is outerwear you want to throw on like a pair of strappy black heels or the black silk pajama set and wear it out and you feel confident girl go for it run out so i love this one i did like a half tuck i did a full tuck i did a no tuck i like to wear my button-up pajamas just with like the last couple buttons buttoned and this all open just because it makes me feel a little bit more sexy attractive um but this was a great set i've been trying to add more silk to my life to my life to my bedroom routine it was a cooler fabric so as the summer months the very hot months are coming up in las vegas i'm obsessed with this silk two-piece pajama set okay so the next thing i got was this plaid skirt and i love this is the one with the shorts underneath and i love it because you can style it in so many different ways so first i did kind of like a fall look they sent me this gorgeous sweater which has a zip up what i think is really cool about this sweater is it has these flowy sleeves but it has exposed seams so it it's a little bit more casual, but with that like flowy sleeve situation and the zip up right here, it takes it up a notch. I thought it paired so beautifully with this skirt with just a pair of strappy heels. Those are the shorts underneath. It could be great for dinner. It could be great for drinks out, happy hour. You could wear this to work. Now my suggestion, I am true size six 
medium in almost everything. Sometimes I can get a small, feel the most confident in medium. This I got a medium and it's on the tighter and shorter side. So my advice to you is to size up on this one unless you want it to be really short and tight, but especially if you're gonna wear it to work, I would size up on this one. They also sent me this adorable white t-shirt, but what's cool about this shirt is it's got that beautiful heart neckline and those sleeves that come right to not off the shoulder. You can push them off the shoulder, but right up on top if you want to make them work appropriate. And there's just something about that neckline that I think is so attractive on every body. It just brings up a t-shirt that you can dress it up. It looks great with this skirt, made it a little bit more summery. And then if you want to add a blazer, you could do that as well. I just changed my shoes to white strappy. You could leave the other shoes on. I was just showing you guys how I was playing with and shopping my closet. So I did a strappy square toe lower heel so it could be worn to work. I did, I added a camel colored blazer just to take it up a notch because I thought the t-shirt might be just slightly dressed down for work. You could drape it over your shoulders like if you're going to happy hour or dinner or something and you don't want to wear the blazer, but you could also put it on for let's say a work meeting. Like the length of this, how it comes right to the bottom of the skirt. Also, if you're doing fall, you can add a booty, same color, like a tan suede booty. I went for like a little bit of a Western vibe on this one, just so you can bring this from summer, spring, summer into fall. Also, I just wanted to try a black strappy with a black blazer just to switch it up, just to get a different feel, different vibe. And I really liked that look as well. Later in the video, I added it with a longer blazer that was about as long as the camel one, and I liked it a lot better. But this is a work look. Like I could see walking into a work meeting in this and feeling, as long as the skirt is a little bit bigger, like if I sized up, was longer and a little bit looser, I could I would rock that for a work meeting. In this skirt, there's a plaid and just in those cross pieces in the middle, there's like a salmon, corally, orangey pink color just in those two stripes. So I wanted to add the same color, which I just so happen to have in my closet, like a shell, like a silk, it's not a blouse, a silk tank top. I can't remember the word for it. I thought that looked really pretty. I just, in my opinion for me, I wanted to add another piece. So what I did was they sent me a blazer. It's a long blazer slash jacket, but it's thin enough. It's like blazer material. Matches the skirt exactly, except it doesn't have that salmon pink color through it. So I figured if I pieced it together and I picked up that color, in that just that salmon color in those pieces, it might look really good. But I was on the fence. I'm like, is this going to work? Is it not going to work? Does this match? Does it not match? Once I put it on, I was like, oh, I I kind of like this, like I could do it, but it's different. So I want you guys to tell me in the comments below, like, does that work or does it not work? Is it just, just enough off that it doesn't work or is it just enough pieced together that it does work? That wasn't even my favorite way to wear this combination. I actually liked it better when I paired it with black underneath. It kind of let those colors and the crossbars jump out on their own and it's, it was kind of subdued a little bit. Why am I so short on words today? And I also think it was the cut of that long sleeve shirt. Now that long sleeve shirt I added has that same silhouette line. That's not from this brand. That's actually from a Shein haul that I'm gonna be doing soon if you guys want it. But I just love that sweetheart neckline look. It just escalates an outfit, takes it up a notch. It's still a very comfortable, piece of clothing, but I just feel like I look very put together. And I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what your chest size is, you will look great. This is flattering on everybody. I also put black knee high boots so you can bring this into the fall and the winter. And then I added that black blazer that's longer this time. And I liked it a lot better. You could drape it over the shoulders again. You could put it on. You could wear it so many different ways. I put the black boots on with a camel blazer and I didn't love it as much. It looks good. It's a different look for a different day of the week if you just want to keep pulling pieces from your closet just to you know utilize your pieces but wear them in a different way so they're they look fresh and new and like you have a different outfit on every day but you're not spending all of your paycheck on clothing however i also have a pair of brown high knee boots that were packed away for the winter i just kind of switched out my clothing i just didn't have time with the baby to go in and grab them but i think it might have looked better with a higher camel boot Okay, then I pulled this, it's like a PU leather 
blouse black from my closet and I belted it. I thought that was another cute way to wear this. Also opened it up and just threw on sneakers with it. I thought that was just kind of a dressed down version of it. So then while I was at it, I'm like, let me just dress this whole thing down and give it early 2000 vibe. That's a really popular look right now. So I just threw on a white t-shirt. This one is from Scoop Brand from Walmart and some sneakers with it. And then I put on some black rim glasses. They're blue light blockers from Key. I'll link everything in the description box below but I thought that was a cute look. Then I decided I wanted to try a really casual look. So I threw on these gray biker shorts that I got from Amazon. I'll link them below. They were the scrunch butt. Oh my God. Oh, miracle for your booty. And then this $5 from Target tank top. I threw that plaid blazer over it and I just thought it was a really cute, fun running errand look just with a pair of white sneakers, run out of the house. You could even put dad sneakers on with high socks if that's your vibe. Let me keep the casual look. Let me keep the blazer, but let me just take it up a notch. Like I would wear this to the podcast studio. You could wear this. Honestly, I think you could wear this for a night out, even if it's a less fancy, like a more casual night out. Cause I know casual is like in right now. So I put on these awesome jeans I just got. They're the high-waisted Levi's 70 jeans. It took me everywhere to find them finally with the same crop tank top with the same blazer. And I just loved this outfit. So I'm curious, what do you think about how I style these pieces? What's your favorite outfit? And what would you have done differently? Is there something that you suggest that you saw in one of these pieces and you're like, oh my God, she should have done this. Let me know because I want to continue to play with what I already own instead of like constantly going out and trying to add more. I just feel like there's just so much overconsumption and waste at this point in society in general overall with all of us we're constantly being fed through social media and influencers all of these brand new things like how can we get a couple of new staple pieces like the ones that this company sent me and just pare down and use what we already have and also do you like my fashion videos because I live for doing them and I have a certain like small group of people that's like give us more we like your style and then like, the videos don't get views so I'm not sure but either way I'm gonna run it's nap time I gotta utilize this clearly I haven't spoken to other grown-ups in many days since he's been gone because you guys are my besties I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one Mwah.